I'm highly doubtful if a bass has the ability to think or reason in the same manner as us humans. Although, on several occasions, I've witnessed bass examining lures and seemingly making a decision whether to eat it or not. Is that thinking or an instinctive response? Hi guys, I'm Kim Stricker and welcome to another splash video. A splash of fishing information from an underwater point of view. I want to share with you some other observations I've documented that seem to verify how bass can learn, remember, and how they can even be trained through repetition and reward. Let's begin with the feeding behavior of bass. The procurement of food is instinctive. Hunger drives them to search for food to survive. With that said, bass remember where they found food and will return to the source. This is because bass become conditioned to the repeated reward of nourishment and will retain that knowledge for long periods. For instance, largemouth bass and bluegill evolve together and share a predator-prey relationship. Largemouths retain the knowledge as to where the schools of bluegills seek refuge in the weeds. And the bass will regularly return to these precise areas to ambush and feed. Another example is how smallmouth bass become mindful of when and where crayfish spawn, molt, and become more accessible. They also understand how schools of yellow perch migrate along specific weed lines and therefore follow in pursuit. When the food source is pelagic, so are the bass. They'll follow the schools of bait fish through the open water column. Again, if the reward is there, they'll keep coming and become conditioned to do so. An observable example of that conditioned feeding behavior I can demonstrate in my fish tank. As I approach the tank, they eagerly recognize my presence and have learned what comes next. Because of the repeated reward of food, they've essentially become trained as to where to obtain nourishment. They're conditioned to the recurrent satisfaction of sustenance. In the same manner, they become trained to the negative stimuli of pain and strain. Therefore, they become conditioned and cautious to the repeated exposure of recognizable lures. How long they retain that awareness in the wild is anybody's guess, but it's the reason highly pressured bass are harder to catch. Now, in regard to navigation, bass know exactly where they are where they're going, and where they've been within a body of water. When relating to the bottom and its available structure, the course of their movement is mostly along habitual routes. While exploring a large flat in Traverse Bay, I followed a smallmouth as he navigated his way. And what I captured was an eye-opening example. As if they were stepping stones, or perhaps signposts, watch as he travels from one boulder to the next, then to the next. You can't tell me he hadn't traveled that same route hundreds of times. As I continued to follow him, another path I noticed he used was along the interface between the rock-bordered sand. What this means to us fishermen is, we need to be attentive and look for these irregularities and edges the fish use, then make our casts accordingly. A noticeable example we captured with Florida strain largemouth was within a jungle of Kissimmee grass. We documented underwater how the bass repetitively traveled in and out of the grass through the same beaten paths. Wherever there was a little wider path in the undergrowth, we watched several bass come and go. Furthermore, bait fish were using the same open paths to enter the grass. And something tells me the bass learned that lesson ages ago. Above the water, these serpentining routes were visibly apparent and proved fruitful. 
Again, bass know where they are and where they've been. And they know where home is. A while back, I did some tagging studies on the small lake I live on, and one of the most noteworthy results I documented proved just that. I caught a bass on a crankbait off the tip of a point about a half a mile from my dock. I put the fish in my live well, then returned to the dock and tagged and released it there. The very next day, I caught that same fish again off that same point, but this time on a worm. Regardless, it demonstrated how quickly bass will return to their home. In closing, what do you think? At least to some degree, isn't conditioning reacting to repetitive stimuli a form of learning? Perhaps even thinking? Or is this behavior purely an instinctive response or perhaps a combination of both? You make the decision. Either way, to us fishermen, this is the stuff productive patterns are developed from. Thanks for watching.